What if I told you that Neanderthals, our ancient extinct cousins, weren't as primitive as we once thought? Recent discoveries have completely changed our understanding of these mysterious beings, challenging everything we thought we knew. Stay with us as we dive into the astonishing new evidence that's reshaping the story of human evolution. For decades, Neanderthals were depicted as slow, brutish, and unintelligent beings, an evolutionary dead end compared to modern humans. But what if that's not the whole story? Over the past few years, anthropologists have uncovered stunning evidence that Neanderthals were far more advanced than we previously believed. From their ability to create art and use complex tools to possibly even practicing rituals, Neanderthals may have been much closer to modern humans in intelligence and culture than we ever imagined. In this video, we're going to explore these fascinating discoveries, the methods anthropologists use to uncover them, and what they mean for our understanding of Neanderthals and human evolution. So, get ready to have your mind blown by some of the most shocking revelations about our ancient relatives. Neanderthal Intelligence The New Perspective Let's start with intelligence an area where Neanderthals were severely underestimated for decades. Recent findings suggest that Neanderthals were not only skilled hunters, but also problem solvers who could adapt to different environments. In fact, many of their tools and weapons, once thought to be simple, were incredibly sophisticated for their time. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries involves the use of fire. Neanderthals didn't just accidentally stumble upon fire, they mastered it. They knew how to maintain it, use it for warmth, cooking, and even hardening their tools. It's a skill that indicates a deep understanding of their environment and their ability to manipulate it to their advantage. But it doesn't stop there. Evidence from caves in France and Spain has revealed that Neanderthals were not just tool users, but creators of symbolic art. In these caves, anthropologists have found geometric shapes and handprints suggesting that Neanderthals were capable of abstract thinking, something that was once considered unique to Homo sapiens. Neanderthal Social Structures and Burial Practices One of the most stunning revelations has been the discovery of possible Neanderthal burial practices. For a long time, it was believed that only modern humans engaged in burial rituals, which is a sign of cultural complexity. However, recent findings in places like La Chapelle aux Saint in France suggests that Neanderthals intentionally buried their dead, sometimes even with tools or animal remains, possibly as offerings. This discovery hints at the possibility that Neanderthals had a sense of spirituality, or, at the very least, a deep respect for the deceased. They may have even believed in some form of afterlife, though the exact meaning behind these burials is still being debated. Nonetheless, it's clear that Neanderthals had social bonds and emotions, and their treatment of the dead shows a level of social sophistication that we never thought they were capable of. In addition to burial practices, there is evidence that Neanderthals cared for their sick and elderly. Fossils have been found showing that some Neanderthals lived with severe injuries or illnesses for years, which would have been impossible without help from others. This suggests that Neanderthals had a strong sense of community and compassion, traits we often associate with modern humans. The discovery of Neanderthal DNA in modern humans. Perhaps one of the most mind-blowing discoveries of all is the fact that many of us carry Neanderthal DNA. That's right. After the sequencing of the Neanderthal genome, it was revealed that modern humans and Neanderthals not only coexisted but interbred. This means that Neanderthals didn't just vanish, they live on in us. On average, non-African populations have about 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA, which may not seem like much, but it has significant implications. Some of this DNA is thought to influence modern traits, such as immune responses and even skin and hair characteristics. For example, some genes related to the skin's ability to protect against sunlight have been traced back to Neanderthals, likely helping early humans adapt to different environments as they migrated across the globe. This interbreeding challenges the notion that Neanderthals were a completely separate, inferior species. Instead, it suggests that Neanderthals were very similar to early modern humans, and that the two groups shared a common evolutionary path for a significant period of time. Neanderthal Innovations, Toolmaking and Survival Skills While Neanderthals have long been credited with basic toolmaking, recent discoveries suggest their skills went beyond rudimentary survival tools. 
For instance, Neanderthals were known to craft stone tools using a technique known as levelois, which required pre-planning and a deep understanding of materials. This technique produced sharp edge tools that were ideal for hunting and butchering large animals. Even more surprising is the evidence that Neanderthals knew how to use natural adhesives. They combined materials like tree resin with powdered rocks to create glue, which they used to attach stone blades to wooden handles. This kind of multi-step tool production is another indicator of their complex thought processes and problem-solving abilities. Some researchers even argue that Neanderthals may have developed basic forms of clothing to protect themselves from the cold during the Ice Age. Although no Neanderthal clothing has survived, the presence of animal bones and tools for processing hides suggests they had the capability to create simple garments, which would have been vital for their survival in harsh climates. Neanderthal language, could they speak? One of the biggest questions surrounding Neanderthals is whether they could communicate using language. For a long time, the answer seemed to be no. After all, language was thought to be a uniquely human trait. But recent studies of the Neanderthal vocal tract and the discovery of the FOXP2 gene, an essential gene for speech in Neanderthal DNA, suggest that they might have had the physical and genetic capacity for speech. While it's unlikely that Neanderthals had a language as complex as ours, they may have had a form of communication that allowed them to share information, coordinate during hunts, and socialize within their groups. The ability to communicate would have been a huge advantage for survival, especially in coordinating group efforts like hunting large animals or defending their territory. Final thoughts. The more we learn about Neanderthals, the more we realize how similar they were to us. Far from being simple, brutish cavemen, Neanderthals were intelligent, resourceful, and capable of complex social and cultural behaviors. They used advanced tools, cared for their sick, and possibly even communicated with language. They also left a lasting legacy, not just in our understanding of human evolution, but in our very DNA. These discoveries have forever changed the way we think about our ancient cousins and the role they played in the story of human history. As new evidence continues to emerge, one thing is clear. Neanderthals were far more than the primitive beings we once imagined. They were a remarkable and important part of our shared evolutionary journey. So, the next time you hear someone talk about Neanderthals as simple, unintelligent beings, remember, the truth is far more fascinating and complex than we ever realized.